So here we are at downtown Freeman's Waterhole. I don't know when the uh, the last memory card and battery ran out. <laughs> and here we are, it's after dark now. It's about, I don't know what it is. What is it? About six or so, or something like that. Yeah, 20 to 7. And uh, it's cooled right off. Because we're away from the coast, I suppose, a little bit, you know. Um, and I'm getting sort of tired and hungry. So I always feel the cold when I start doing that. Um, so put my neck warmer back on. Got the other gloves back out. And who knows? We might even end up with uh, the heater grips on. We shall see. We shall see. I can only assume this thing is working. Yes, it is. We haven't got too far to go, although, you know, distance-wise, but the traffic on this road can be a bit of a pain. I've got to go through Coorumbong and Morissette, Doylson, Budgiewoy, Tookley, then to, uh, to North Entrance. Strange business. Pop these are number one, just for a giggle. We're right to go, are we? We are right to go. Freeman's Waterhole, this is where a lot of motorcyclists meet from Newcastle and Central Coast areas, you know. Meet at this joint over the road here. It's the old oak. Been past both the old oaks today, actually, the one here and the one at Hexham as well. They used to be quite famous. And this used to be the highway. This is the Pacific Highway, the main the highway up to, you know, from Sydney up to Newcastle sort of thing. And all the bikers meet there and go for rides together, you know. This high beam, these two, well, there's the Rocket 3, it's got twin headlights, of course. Um, the high beam, the bulbs that I put in, I got them from Autobahn actually in Armadale. And the guys said they were Euro spec, whatever the fuck that means. But they do work really well. I mean, low beam's pretty crap, but as it is on motorcycles, but my beam works a lot better than any other bulb that I've tried. And they're using less wattage than the 100 watters, but give a better light and a better spread and a longer reach. He says, carrying on. Anyone would think I was impressed with them, and I am. I 
really good feed. Yeah, they were in the middle of the bloody the bush here, but we're not. Yeah, the M1 expressway is just there, like there, actually, right on top of it. They're right on top of it. Oh, it's fucking one, isn't it? Just going through Kurumbong at the moment. It's Dokshan or Kurumbong. I wonder if in the rest of the world the water pipe, you know, that you smoke marijuana through, is it called a bong everywhere else in the world? Inquiring minds wish to know because it's a very common word. The word now nah, ending in indigenous language, you know, Kurumbong, Wollongong, lots of bongs, wooden bong, bong bong, even. There's a place called Bong Bong. Turn your lights down, mate. No, oh, no. It's got to wait till you blind you first. Fuck, that's annoying. And it happens all the time. It's because people just aren't paying attention. Yeah, but what are you are going through Kurumbong at the moment. This is something to think about, isn't it? I mean, it's such a long town. You know, you'll, you'll find the population's about... About 2,000, you know, like, and, and yet we're just, it just goes on and on and on. Krieg langsam die Schnauze voll hier. Die Nase voll. Da wollen wir endlich weg aus dieser Stadt. Das kann zu Kurumbon. You can tell I'm hungry because I'm starting to talk gibberish, you know. Actually, in Morrisett. Let us put these heater grips on number two of about five or six settings, and it's like, oh, I just don't feel cold anymore. Just that little bit of warmth, you know. You keep your extremities warm, you're doing okay. Can't speak highly enough of heater grips on a motorcycle. If you live up, you know, on the tableland somewhere where it gets genuinely cold. concentrate on what they're doing which is driving the most dangerous thing that people do in their entire lives you know without 
without, you know, being shot at or whatever, going to war or whatever. And in everyday life, this is it. Seven or something like that, and uh, you know the, the Z900 was a huge motorbike and and hugely powerful. You know, and I think it had about 60 horsepower, maybe 65 horsepower, but they really delivered in a way, and they were a very exciting motorcycle because. <laughs> They went pretty fast, but they didn't handle or go, you know, or, or, or break very well. So you could really, you know, uh, get some exciting times happening. And now this thing, you know. Damn near three times as big. Got 150 horsepower. But delivered in a different way, you know. This is um, this is no sports bike. You don't wring its neck and and uh, redline it and stuff. You know, it's just no point. It, it it just likes to be ridden the way I ride it, I guess. Really, anyway, with a sidecar, you know, it just it's all that immense grunt that makes it such a satisfying bike to ride. So here we are in North Entrance, which will be my home for the next little while anyway. Not sure how long for, a week or two, hopefully that's all. And then I'll be uh, flying off. downtown Leipzig all the neighbours will probably be gone they'll be, they'll be glad for me to go to and or sell the bike at least oops, let me miss the turn off Clearly 
Lee Kerry heard me coming. <laughs> Look at you naughty bird, what are you doing there? Hello Seamus. Hello boy. Hello lovely girl. Well, I don't know what that smile was about. It wasn't a, wasn't a nice one. <laughs>